Hello lunatics! In today's video we are going to discover Christianity and Jesus Christ. Christianity is one of the most influential religion in the world, with a rich history, a wide variety of traditions and beliefs, and a vast amount of theological and spiritual literature. The central text of Christianity is the Bible, which consists of two main parts, the Old Testament, including the shared Jewish scriptures, and the New Testament, containing the Gospels, Epistles, and other writings that narrate the life of Jesus Christ and the teachings of the early Christian leaders. Jesus Christ is the central figure of Christianity. Christians believe that he is the Son of God and the Savior of the world, who came to earth to redeem humanity from sin and offer eternal salvation. According to Christian teachings, Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem, in the region of Judea, around 4 BC, although the exact date is uncertain. He is a descendant of the lineage of King David, according to the prophecies of the Old Testament. Jesus' life is narrated in the New Testament Gospel, which recounts his teachings, miracles, death and resurrection. One of the most emblematic and significant stories in Jesus' life is the account of his crucifixion and resurrection. This event is central to the Christian faith and has profound theological and spiritual implications. Here is the story summarized. After his public ministry, Jesus arrived in Jerusalem during Passover, where he was welcomed by crowds acclaiming him as the Messiah. However, this welcome was short-lived as Jesus knew that his destiny was the cross. During the Last Supper, he instituted the Eucharist and predicted his betrayal by one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot. Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane and brought before the Sanhedrin, where he was accused of blasphemy and condemned to death by the highest priest Caiaphas and the Jewish religious leader. He was then handed over to the Roman authorities and brought before Pontius Pilate, the Roman procurator of Judea, who, after interrogating him, sentenced him to be crucified. Jesus was flogged and taken to Golgotha, where he was crucified alongside two criminals. During his agony on the cross, Jesus uttered seven last words, including the famous phrase, Father, Forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34 After hours of suffering, Jesus died on the cross. But the story does not end there. Three days after his death, on Easter Sunday, Jesus rose from the dead, appearing first to Mary Magdalene and then to his disciples. His resurrection is the cornerstone of the Christian faith confirming his identity as the Son of God and his victory over sin and death. Christians believe that Jesus Christ was sent by God the Father to redeem humanity from sin and restore the relationship between God and human beings. His death on the cross is seen as an expiatory sacrifice that offers salvation and forgiveness of sin. His resurrection on the third day after his crucifixion is celebrated as the victory over sin and death and as a warranty of eternal life. A fundamental belief in many Christian denominations is the doctrine of the Trinity which teaches that, that God exists as a unity of three persons, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. Christianity is composed of a variety of churches and denominations, each with its own beliefs, 
practices and tradition. Some of the main branches of Christianity include Catholicism, Protestantism, and Orthodox. Practices in Christianity may vary widely, depending on the denomination, but some common practices include prayer, worship at church, Bible reading, participation in sacraments such as baptism and communion, and charity towards the needy. These practices reflect the different expression of faith within Christianity, which in turn are influenced by the belief and tradition of each denomination. Exploring the main branches of Christianity and their approach to Mary, the mother of Jesus, we can notice how these practices may manifest differently. For example, in Roman Catholicism, Mary holds a central position and it's venerated as the mother of God. Catholics participate in devotional practices such as the rosary and the veneration of images of Mary in their churches. On the other hand, in some Protestant denominations such as Baptist and certain Pentecostal groups, devotion to Mary may be less prominent, with a greater emphasis on worship centered on Christ and the teaching of the scripture. Within Christianity, there are groups and denominations that do not have a high veneration for Mary and may even have negative or ambivalent views toward her. These groups often have a stricter interpretation of the Bible and may focus on different aspects of the Christian faith. Lunatics, we have reached the end of the episode. I send you a huge hug from the moon to the earth and back. Bye!